song Wayfaring Stranger here, I'm going to try and combine a couple versions that I know into a newfangled Wayfaring Stranger here. I'll show you what I'm doing. One version of Wayfaring Stranger is... The other version I know is that Monroe live version where instead of going to the relative major, he goes to the major of G. It's from G minor to G major and sings it like this. So essentially, and then it goes back to the, the, and, and then it goes back to the original motif for the A, A section, just like in the other version. The form is the same, but it, it just not, it just adds a nice little hint of acidity. Uh, so arrangement wise, what I'm doing is just, um, playing it, the, the one that goes to the major first and then playing it, the one that goes to the relative major. Um, so arrangement wise, that would come out something like this.
itself. That's the first part. Then, this is where it's on the C chord. And then, repeating right here. I'm doing a lot of the so you see how that melody is so what I'm doing is I'm playing all three of these strings I'm playing it just like I'm playing the melody like this and so once you get off this G note, all the other notes that aren't G are these three, which will ring out open underneath the melody, um, giving that support sound. So a, a melodic uh, sort of thing is instead of the, the super simple melody I would do. When I hit that C chord, put the C minor underneath. Once you get to putting in that E flat to making it a C minor chord so you can keep that so you can keep that accompaniment sound going you just need to make sure you're mindful of the chord progression and when it changes to that. If you're outlining the C though, it has the open G in it, so really all you're doing is adding that E flat, but it is tricky in a couple places where you have to have that E flat held over what seems like a G minor lick. Um, let me see if I can find the spot where it does that. Oh, right here. gets here right here right there I feel like I'm picking doing the pickup for the G minor chord so my head is almost already in G minor but it's important to um, 
down. Right here. So you can really hear that chord change there. Then when you get to that B section, that <laughs> what makes it sound good and and really bright and fresh to me is the so we're taking this playing it as double stops and so this is just three double stops we're using which is that G, D and G double stop, and then F and A, and then G and B. You can slide up there if you want. And then that one, which is... C, B, not the B flat, and then back, section of the good old going to the relative major is taking you to B flat but you start off on the four chord of B flat which is E flat so it's like E flat to C my B flat I'm going to E flat no more to D I am just G minor to C minor, G minor. I am just C minor, D to the G minor. Um, so the, the melody for that E flat to B flat part is... Okay, so what I'm doing is go to your B flat here, your D here, and then hold the B flat and go D and B flat, D, F, and then you're going to that. E flat chord, um, E flat double stop with the third and the fifth. So So it helps me to think of the words. I'm going there to see my mother. She said she'd meet me. 